We all know that there are not so simple workarounds to get custom themes for app icons on our iPhones or place these icons wherever we want. We all know that AI features are becoming very prominent in a lot of products nowadays, especially on the new Pixel and the Samsung phones. Now it's Apple's turn to delve into this realm of AI. With iOS 18 and WWDC being just around the corner within less than three weeks, leaks and rumors are becoming a lot more prominent. And here are some of the biggest leaks and rumors that we've heard so far. The first up, something that we've seen on a lot of Android phones is photo editing tools, AI photo editing tools. So where you can remove an object or just move the object around and AI will do its best to stitch the photo back together and assume what was behind that object you just moved, things like that. Very excited and curious to see automatic replies so imagine you got an email or a text and it's just something that you want you can reply to it pretty quickly but you don't want to take put in the two seconds of effort to type it out ai is going to do that for you now and before it sends it it's going to let you read through it and make sure it's good and then you will send it manually but ai is going to start writing out these simple responses for you and i'm sure there's going to be settings on how you can adjust it and procure that to your liking so that'll be really interesting to see. I'm very excited to see Apple do this. Another huge feature is smart summaries. So smart summaries is essentially you look up a page on Safari. Instead of reading through that whole page, AI, Siri possibly, is going to put everything together into a small paragraph for you to read. And it's just going to give you a quick summary. It's going to do the same thing with emails and text messages as well, possibly. So if somebody sends you a really long text, Siri is going to put it into one or two sentences for you just to get the summary of it so that you can until you can read it at a later time. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very, very cool. I am beyond excited to see how this is going to work out. Whether I'm going to use it or not, it's going to be really cool. A few honorable mentions that aren't going to be as groundbreaking as the last ones I've mentioned is the AI emoji generating machine. What? I guess people like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old. Do people still use emojis? Now we need AI to create emojis for us as if we didn't have enough already. So that'll be interesting. That'll be uh, fascinating to see how that works. Another thing is Siri is going to start using inflections, start talking as if Siri was a normal person. Now, that'll be really cool to see, but if they're not, not making Siri any smarter, then we get dumb Siri that sounds like a normal person, not a robot. I'd rather have a dumb robot than a dumb person, but that's just me. And last but not least, and I am super excited for this, and that's to be able to customize the home screen as much as we want. A few years ago, we got some lock screen adjustments for the phone where we were able to have the photo and adjust the photo the way we like, have the clock look different, add some widgets to the front lock screen, things like that. Now it looks like the home screen is getting the overhaul where you can put apps anywhere on the grid, not just in Apple's, you know, specific grid like you can put it anywhere so you can make as amazing or horrendous as you like, but also custom themes. So the messages icon right now is green and say you want certain apps messages music email to all be blue and then you want your finance app so wells fargo rocket money all these you're gonna make those green you can do things like that assuming that's gonna be really cool to see i really hope that they can do themes themed icons just like how android phones and google phones have been able to do for a long time not just choose different colors to make a whole theme and it do it automatically I am super excited to see how that looks. I think that'll unlock a world of possibility. Also, maybe some revenue streams for small creators to where they can make custom app icons and custom themes, and it'll be actually easy to put those onto your phone and not to go through a whole crazy Siri workaround. And if you have anything that I've missed, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're going to do with your lock screen and your home screen once iOS 18 comes around. I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.